Hello and welcome to Grove Dodge. My name's Jasmine and today we're going to be looking at this gorgeous 2018 Dodge Durango RT all-wheel drive in billet silver metallic. Under the hood she has a legendary 5.7 V8 Hemi engine pushing out 360 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds in torque. In the front here we have your headlights, daytime running lights and signal lights and of course these fog lights down here at the bottom. Lots of tread left in these tires. They are Bridgestones mounted of a factory black 20 inch trim. We have your black mirrors there with your indicator, your blind spot monitoring, and they do defrost. We have your keyless entry, nice blacked out badging. Let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. So on the key fob here, we have your unlock lock button to open up that power boot factory remote start as well as your panic. I'm going to show you how that keyless entry works. You'll simply put the key in your pocket or your bag, run your finger over the back of the handle here and the vehicle unlocks for you. It's a very handy feature to have. You have this gorgeous red leather seating. Now the driver's seat is powered and you do have your memory seating just located inside the door here. We have your power locks, windows, and adjustable mirrors. Let me just hop on in. We have your lights on the left-hand side, as well as a button to open up that gas cap door. Windscreen wipers on the back of the steering wheel. Your paddle shifters, just in case you wish to go into your manual transmission mode. We have your screen options, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and of course your cruise control and adaptive cruise control. Now she is a easy push to bus and start, so I'll just go ahead and start her up for us. So we have your charge control, your ABS are currently sitting at 15,212 kilometers, so tons and tons of life left in her. But do speak to one of our finance managers about any extended warranty that you may wish to purchase, just to make sure that you are fully covered. And I'll definitely get her all fueled up and ready by the time you get down here. We'll just flick through a few of the screen options here using these buttons on the steering wheel. Right now we're at your speedometer, your vehicle information, your fuel economy, trip A and B, audio, messages, screen setup, and then we are back to that speedometer. If we go way up to the top here with the buttons for your sunroof, which is a great size at that. Button as well to open up that power boot. We have your SOS and assist on that rear view mirror. Located in the center, you have a nice big touchscreen giving you your AM, FM, satellite radio, your media options, your climate control features, your apps, Controls for your heated seats, cooled seats, and heated steering wheel. Your navigation, phone, and of course, backup camera. A little bit further down here, we have your hazard lights, your dual climate control, your front and rear defrost, parking sensors on the rear, which you can turn off if you wish to do so, as well as your lane keeping system, economy mode, sports, and trash control. Just located underneath there, you have a 12 volt plug-in, two USBs and auxiliary. We have your all-wheel drive auto, as well as your low range and a great size center console, which also holds your Blu-ray DVD player. Stick with me and I'll show you the rest. So you have this gorgeous red leather seating throughout this vehicle, cargo net pockets at the back of the seat. Let me just hop on in. If we look up to the top here, we have your rear climate control features. Located behind the center console, you have two USBs, your rear heated seats, as well as your 150 watt plug-in. Check out these DVD players. They fold up so nicely from the back of the seats, as well as on the passenger side. Now, super easy to get into that third row. There's a lever at the side of the seat here. You can simply pull that up. Then there's that red tab at the back. Lift that and that seat folds up, giving you tons and tons of space to those two extra seats. And then as soon as you're done, she just clips back into place for you. Now coming around the back here, you have your rear parking sensors. These are just those little circles in the bumper here. They're gonna let you know if you're getting a little bit too close to anything. To open up the power boot, there's a button on the inside of this handle. You can simply push that and she opens up, giving you tons and tons of cargo space. But of course, if you did want some more, you can drop this third row flat into the ground. Now to close the power boot, there's a button on the left hand side. You can simply push that, mind your head, and that door will close for you. 
give you another peek inside the back here. This middle seat does fold down, just giving you those two extra cup holders. And I'll give you another look at that DVD screen. Keyless entry on the passenger front, as well as your power locks, your power windows, and of course that powered seat. So if you'd like to take this Dodge Durango for a test drive, we're located at 200 St. Matthews Avenue in Spruce Grove, Alberta, and hopefully we see you soon. Take care.